This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Birds flying high, you know Go on, Cam. Sun in You're the sky, better. you know how I feel. Rain's drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Hello and welcome to La La Land on LA Talk Live. I'm Brett Chapin. And this is Venetic Marshall standing in for Miss Dorothy Dillingham Blue. I love saying her name. Dorothy Dillingham Blue. She's got a good one. Yes. Dorothy is at an audition right now, probably kicking butt. Um, and she should be here soon, we think, we hope, unless it runs long. Um, yes. But thanks for joining us on La La Land. This is the only nationally broadcast show by Los Angeles artists about Los Angeles artists on episode 191. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of that's a lot of episodes. We're knocking on that door to 200. Wow, We're that's cool. fan freaking tastic. Yeah, good stuff. So, you know, thanks for sitting in and and sort of guest co-hosting, co-hosting. Thank uh, you for for Dorothy. Well, you know, uh, it's You're always an honor and a privilege when I do co-host with you. Yes, it's a privilege for us too. Yeah, I mean, a lot of good things. Always when I co-host with you, always some interesting things. You know, we got a couple of people in here. They're gonna do some special stuff, right? Yeah, they are. We have uh, Poena and Michael Lynn. Um, Poena is a singer-songwriter and uh, a musician and uh, a very talented one at that. We're looking forward to talking with uh, the both of them very soon. Cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Outstanding. So, um. I don't know. I, you know, one of the things I really like about doing this show is that sometimes guests come to us in interesting ways. Yes. Um, it, we, we get a lot of uh, email from publicists and, and things like that, and we bring guests on that way. Uh, but every once in a while, there's a, a guest that you, you meet in an interesting circumstance. So I want to tell you the story about how this guest came to be. I'm dying to hear. Um, and b- before I do, uh, I want to say that if you want to find information uh, on us, you can go to facebook.com slash la la land talk and twitter.com slash la la land talk. And if you want to uh, s- talk to our guests, you can call 323-473-3100. 323-473-3100. It's right here. Yes. And um, if you want to send us an email, if you know anyone that would like to be on the show or you yourself would like to be a guest, send us an email at lalalandtalk at gmail.com. You will not regret it. No, you won't. We have a good time here on Saturday. Always a good time. I know. Especially when we have Jack Daniels. Sometimes we I bring know. Jack in. I know. Jack, you know, because so yeah, we, we always like to let your guests know that for those who are 21 and over, you can drink your favorite beverage, wherever that may be. So I can bring in milk. You can bring in milk because right. bo- milk does a body good. It does. You know? <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Um, yeah. So I, this is the way that uh, Poena came to our show. So um, I'm, uh, it was around the holiday time. i um, uh, laying in my living room. I think I'm, I'm doing a little drinking. And uh, <coughs> I fell asleep on the couch. The window open. You don't even know this. <laughs> and um, I woke up to hearing this amazing amazing voice and uh this guitar playing and i'm like what 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 is that who is that with a great voice Mm -hmm. and you know a couple a couple and i said i would love to have that person on the show but i guess i never really pursued it i didn't know my my neighbors next door yet and all that um so hold on hold on so this was somebody uh, something that was coming from the wall on the other side of you? Yeah, it was coming from the next next door <laughs> through the open window. <laughs> I hear this voice out of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, so a couple months goes by, and I ran into Poina recently on the street, and I said, are you that amazing voice that I keep hearing from my neighbor's house? And she said, yes, and we got to talking. She started telling me about her music, and I said, come on the show and share it with our audience because our audience 
loves music, and it's been a while, actually, since we've had a musical guest. Yes, exactly. We, we have the Dale Hansen Band coming in next week, um, so we're, and he's booked three more times, so we're um, kind of trying to bring music back to the show, but this is a, a nice start to having music Yeah, back because theater, theater has its musical side. Oh, yeah. That's why they call it musical theater. There you go. <laughs> <Good stuff. laughs> Although, Poena does... Uh, I don't know. What would you call your music if you had to classify it? I know it's really hard to do, but could you put it in a category? I, I've come up with all kinds of different names. Um, a lot of people have been comparing me as a blend of Nora Jones and Janis Joplin, which I find very funny because they're so different. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, um, though, especially I've, the Janis Joplin thing. Yeah, I've referred to my music as subdued thrasher bluegrass. I've, I've called it like ethereal avant-garde pop. You could call it soul Thrasher rock. I don't really know. Very collected. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Okay. It's good music anyway, no matter what you call it. S- wh- what go. was that? Subdued Thrasher, Thrasher Blue Bluegrass. Grass? I like that. <laughs> we'll call it that. <laughs> cool. Um, so, yeah, that's how Poena uh, came about on the show, and I, I, I love that. And Poena is also a really beautiful spirit, too, because a lot of times when I come up to people, and I don't do it often, get people, like, literally off the street, but a lot of times <laughs> when I come up to people, <laughs> and especially if it's a female, and I say, oh, I have a talk show, I, you know, come on the show, I, I get this look like, yeah, right. You're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. You're full of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, are you trying to get in my pants? Was this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? What a pickup line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, there was, and there was nothing like that from her. So um, yeah. it, was, it was awesome. I get that sometimes, you know, um, you know uh, where I approach somebody that I feel as though that's um, interesting enough to be interviewed, and they look at me, especially the women, they look at me like, are, are you seriously, dude? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I mean, come on now. Because the liars have ruined it for us who are telling <laughs> the truth. I can tell a wild story, though. And, you know, I mean, I had this one guy once who came up to me. I was, like, singing on the sidewalk. This one was a kid a long time ago with a girlfriend of mine. And we were, like, singing. He comes up. I'm going to make you a big star. I'm going to oh. take you all over the world. And I'm uh, working with Prince. And you should come down. He's playing tonight. And so we were, like, pfft. This guy's totally full of crap, but <laughs> let's go try and see if we can get into the Prince show. So we went downtown. This was up in Seattle. We went downtown, and at the time, I was underage, and I didn't have my ID on me. I only had my fake ID. So I'm in line, and they're going through the like the guest list of who's to get in. And, mm-hmm. of course, this guy and his like crackhead girlfriend do not get into the show. But by accident, the last name of my fake ID was on the list. So they totally let me and my friend into this Prince show. Nice. And he's, like, banging on the door, let us in, you know, hey, wait for us and we're just laughing that's so <laughs> funny what what was he trying to say that he was working with prince and that i don't his... know whatever stories douchebags tell you a douche <laughs> all right well thank you for not thinking i was a douchebag i appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> um i wanted to also mention uh that uh before we we get to point at the, the uh last last week's show yes um that we had on a Holly Seidel relationship columnist for the Huffington mm-hmm. Post. Yeah. We get a lot of email about that show, surprisingly. Be- that's because We're talking a lot of people want to know uh, how to have a healthy relationship and how to weed out, like, um, you know, the bad from the good. Yeah, yeah. People wanted, like, referrals and... and of course. And we got compliments. It was on both nice. sides. On both sides. The men and the women want to know how to have a healthy relationship um, you know, <laughs> and it's it's important. Yes, exactly. Do you, do, you, do you think do you think I scored some points with the with the girl I'm dating by having that yes. subject on? Yes, because yes. now she says she sees the sense of this side. You show that you care about her feelings and how she may feel about the relationship that she's willing to have with you. Mm-hmm. Are you listening, dear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it's good so to see that you are, you know, you you have a, a, a you're in a relationship. Well, I wouldn't say I'm in a relationship, but I a friendship. I, yeah, S- seeing seeing someone. You're dating, I guess. Yeah, exclusively. Not exclusively. Not exclusively. But dating. Yeah. Okay. You know. All right. You yeah. sure we'll, you want to we'll say that? Yeah. Over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because we're on the same page with it. Okay. Yeah. Aye. Aye. Okay. But you never know what the future holds. It might go there. You know. Okay. You never know. Okay. Yeah. Aye. Aye. It's all good. I'm not getting in trouble or anything. Okay. Aye. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> I did enough, like, uh, admitting that I was on Tinder last week. Yes. <laughs> getting in trouble. I did enough embarrassing myself. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on in, in, in the theater world? Oh, you know, we got the Diary of Anne Frank at Theater Palisades uh, playing for the next three weekends. Um, I got to ran, run the lights for it last night for the first time by myself. I was very, very nervous, but I think well, I... you ran the lights? I ran the lights and the sound last night, yeah. Wow. I've never done it solo in seven years that I've been there. I've never done it solo, so I was like kind of wound up about it but i think i did all right there was one one little cue that was a little late but outside of that i think it was all right but it's a great show diary van frank it's running the next three weekends uh friday nights saturday nights and sunday afternoons mm -hmm. at two go to theaterpalisades.com for information on that and dorothy would want me <laughs> would want me to mention that do wop wed whiting hood i can't say that <laughs> <I know. laughs> do wop wed whiting hood the show that <laughs> she's directing for our youth theater um, is opening uh, very soon. Cool. Go to theaterpalisades.com for information on that. Cool, cool. Well, at least you have another uh, another uh, arsenal in your on your resume. What's that? The lights oh, and the, the lights sound. And sound? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody might hire you just to do that. Hey, that'd be nice. Those guys get paid well if they're working on Broadway. There you go. <laughs> you, you never, never know. know. You never know. Are you listening, casting directors? Are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so that's going on. There's a lot of good stuff always going on in the world of LA theater. Best place to find out about all the things going on in LA theater is to um, go to lastagetix.com. They have uh, information on everything that's playing, basically, in L.A., and uh, direct links to tickets and all that good stuff. Cool. Yeah. So, cool. I don't know. Um, Take a break and then come back, or you want to go straight to your guests? Yeah, I'm wondering if Dorothy's going to get here. You know what? Let's just go straight in. What do you think? Why not? This, right. is live, this is live radio. Reality radio. All right. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, yeah, you so, two. So let me get make, make make sure that everybody, you know, they got their sounds on. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. Yes. Yeah, so. um, if you want to find information on Poena, go to poenasudarth.com. P-O-E-I-N-A-S-U-D-D-A-R-T-H.com. You can also find her on Twitter at Poena, P-O-E-I-N-A, on Instagram at Poena, and on Facebook, Poena. <laughs> and I'm this the only is Paulina. one in the world. So yeah, I know. That's an awesome that name, by the way. Thank you. It's, it's my real name. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, and this is going to be uh, Electric Man? Yes. Okay, these are all original songs um, except for one, uh, which is awesome uh, because a lot of bands just do covers, which I like too, but it's nice that you're creative enough to write, <laughs> write your music and all that. I think that's it's actually great. been a challenge for me to learn cover songs because I'm always like, ah, I don't have time to learn those, but recently I've been practicing a little uh, I can't wait to talk to you <laughs> and we'll get into more of that and we'll get into your history and all that stuff cool. but um, right now just listen to her sing um, this is Poina Sudarth Electric Land on LA Talk Live <laughs> ooh, oh, 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 Specs of violence in electric land steals the warmth of my lover's hand. Soon after I'm gone, there'll be nothing to live on. Say, but the planet that lives close to the sun. I'm still recovering from the full moon and the howling winds. But I'm not afraid of being alone now. Well, no one knows my name. Oh, no, no. Run around in my mind, cause there's nowhere to hide. Run to my favorite corners of this anxious kaleidoscope Where no one can tell me no Ooh. 
when my heart aches, my mouth begins to fade, and I am faceless as the clouds up in the sky. Simple forever with pain ends, my anger will not join. Free to put our face in line. I'm still recovering from the full moon and the howling winds. But I'm not afraid of being alone now. Where no one knows my name. Oh, no, no. Run around in my mind, cause there's nowhere to hide. Run to my favorite corners of this anxious kaleidoscope where no one can tell me no. Specs of violence in electric land steals the warmth of my lover's hand. Soon after I'm gone, there'll be nothing to live on. Save but the planet that lives close to the sun. What to the sun? Na, 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 na. To the sun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. That's the song. That's the one that I heard. That, Is it that really? Night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank That's you. Cool. Awesome. Poena. 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 Thank you. So tell tell us um, a little bit about how you got started in music and and all that. <laughs> Well, it's the childhood thing. Like five years old, and I started screaming and yelling. And my <laughs> dad came in with a baseball bat, looking for the bad guy. And I was standing in my bed, probably looking real ridiculous. Cause I used to paint my face. I probably looked exactly the same. Still paint your <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I know what I want to be. I'm gonna be a singer. And he's like, Where's the bad guy? <laughs> um, but yeah. M- my mom knew that I was really interested, so she tried to take me to little voice lessons and things when I was a kid. And uh, eventually, I joined the Seattle Girls Choir, and I was classically trained. And then I studied with this teacher named David Kyle um, in Seattle, who's a really amazing teacher. And then, um, actually, it started like high school. I was like fourteen, fifteen, and uh, some friends of mine dared me to try out for cheerleading. And um, I made the squad, which was kind of like a big deal, I guess. <laughs> nice. And uh, later on, my cheer coach became my music manager, and I just started performing, like, all over. You're the only person in the world whose cheer coach became their music manager. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. We both dropped out of school. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, we both dropped out of school and just started doing music. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was a long time ago, and then from there, I went, like, you know, through many wild adventures and tours and um, I don't. I don't have a manager or anybody now, and I just been touring as an independent artist and doing my own projects and whatever. So you started in um, Seattle, obviously. Yep. That's so where I was hatched. What's uh, w- what's the music scene like in Seattle as, as opposed to here? How's it different? How's it? How's it? You know, it's like? like the same as it was in the '90s. I swear, like yeah? everyone still wears black and they're long. Uh, their hair is long and they don't dance. They head nod. And they wear flannel and. And they do, yeah, it's awesome. and it's still grunge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then if you go down to Portland, which is not that far, it's like, you know, kind of a twin city. Like, everybody's in bright colors and dancing. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> go figure. Yeah. Is it is it um, harder to get uh, gigs out there than it is in Los Angeles, or would you say Los Angeles is more difficult? Uh, 
I don't know. There's always gigs to play. <laughs> yeah, that's a good attitude, I guess. I don't know. Have about it. There's always somewhere to play. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and you have some shows coming up. You have uh, a show on February 14th. It's a benefit, right? Yes, that's out in Moore Park in Ventura County at Rock and Roll Pizza. And that's a benefit for Rock Against MS. And uh, we're going to be opening up for the band Galvanized Souls. And uh, they're collecting money at the door and hopefully do some good. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, February 22nd, you're playing at University? February 22nd is in North Hollywood at the UBG, otherwise known as the Universal Bar and Grill. I like that, UBG. I never heard of that before. <laughs> that sounds much better. <laughs> Universal Bar and Grill on February yeah. 22nd, March 5th. Yeah. Uh, what? March 5th. Oh, yeah, March 5th. I I just, I'm in a new, like, electronic music project called Unorthodox Methods, mm -hmm. and um, we've been writing and recording music for the last two and a half years and we're actually going to have our very first show on March 5th uh, which is the first Thursday of March at the uh, airliner for the up and up event very cool yeah and you you have some um, CDs that you're willing to give away to our wonderful callers yeah absolutely so there's a, a couple of CDs of uh, point as electronic project and a multimedia uh, DVD called the bedroom show yeah, my my first album I put out was called Happy Horror, and I I did a multimedia show called The Bedroom Show to kind of coincide with it, and it has like film and dance and all that cool, crazy people stuff. <laughs> so if you would like copies of either one of these, make sure to give us a call at three two three four seven three thirty one hundred three two three four seven three thirty one hundred. Ask Poina a question, say hello, give us a recipe, whatever you want to do, <laughs> call in. Um, and we're going to take a quick break and uh, be back with uh, Poena on La La Land on L.A. Talk Live. This is Brett Chapin. And this is Dorothy Dillingham Blue, inviting you to join us every Saturday at noon Pacific Standard Time for our show, La La Land Talk. Join us as we talk with some of the top talent in L.A. Artists Untold Stories, your phone calls, and live on-location broadcasts have made La La Land one of the best sources in L.A. for everything entertainment. So don't forget to tune in to La La Land Talk. Exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio, R&B, Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio. Or watch and listen directly at latalklive.com. Saturdays at noon Pacific time. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash lalalandtalk. Twitter, twitter.com slash lalalandtalk. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live. And we are more than just talk. Hello, I'm Joel Ramirez. And I'm Lolita Robinson Coppage, and welcome to Joy in My House. On LATalkLive.com. Inspirational radio. With a touch of recovery. A reality show where nothing is left unsaid. And no one is insignificant who says it. Exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B. Or watch us on Ustream TV. Reality Radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live and we are more than just talk. Hi, I'm Ro Williams and I would like to invite you to join GospelRhythms.com every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our show GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio. Join us as we celebrate Christians around the world in all genres of entertainment, as well as highlight interest stories on men and women who are making a difference and impacting their community. So don't forget to tune in to GospelRhythms.com, Talk Live Radio, exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes under R&B or watch us live on Ustream TV. 
We are Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com. We're more than just talk. We're heaven's party here on earth. in my life it's gonna feel real good gonna make welcome back to la la land on la talk live i'm brett shapin and this is poena with honey peach and bones on la talk live <laughs> So I don't do the dishes and I don't pay bills Some might even say I'm on the road to hell Well, you're kind of bossy, criticize my ways But I don't know how to leave you till I'm in the grave So tell me that you love me forever and I will stay Baby, I love you even though you drive me insane Please tell me that you love me forever and don't make me wait I could walk right out that door never see you again <laughs> I'm your honey peach and you're my bones Into the next phase of the future unknown so tell me that you love me forever and I will stay Baby, I love you even though you drive me insane Please tell me that you love me forever and don't make me wait I could walk right out that door, my heart broken again I didn't notice when it started to slip Came on so hard, I just couldn't think well and me and I needed saving from myself So tell me that you love me forever and I will stay Baby, I love you even though you drive me insane Please tell me that you love me forever and don't let me wait I could walk right out that door, my heart broken again Yeah, I could walk right out that door, never see you again Nice. <laughs> that one I, went out unexpectedly. I was like, oh, I gotta get back. <laughs> I was thinking about your relationship show conversation. I was singing that because I was like, ha ha. Yeah, <laughs> that song relates. <laughs> um, yeah, last week was interesting. Um, Poena. You yes. can find information uh, on Poena at P O E I N A S U D D A R T H dot com or at Poena on Twitter or at P Poena on Instagram. Or just Google Poena. Or just Google Poena. That's probably <laughs> the easiest <laughs> way, right? Yep. So um, you and Michael Lynn, how did you two end up uh, playing music together? Uh, I was playing music with a friend of mine named Sebastian, and we were uh, playing. We I used to do like a weekly show out at Rock and Roll Pizza in Moore Park, and mm -hmm. um, he introduced us, and then... Oh, yeah, he was originally going to play keyboards, and then he realized we didn't have a bass player, and then he started playing bass. <laughs> oh, okay. That that works out well. I think the combination of the bass and the guitar works uh, really well. Well, we're dreaming of a drummer soon, but we're uh, we're just trying to get our set tight, and then we'll, we'll find one. And we actually have a, have a caller um, on Ooh, the line for you. How exciting. <laughs> Hello, caller. Hello there. Hi, what's your name? My name is Natalie Norman from Portland. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Paulina. I miss you, and I'm Aww. so glad you're doing well. <laughs> Look at Thank this. you. Thanks for calling from Portland. That's so awesome. <laughs> Woohoo! I am so excited to see that you are doing well in L.A., and it's awesome. It just Thank makes you. me just glow. Thank you. <laughs> how do you know? How do you know Paulina, Natalie? Did you work together? No, actually, um, Paulina played at my wedding. She was <laughs> a, a beautiful, amazing musician. Uh, she and Felicia, when they were uh, Felicia or 
Felina was Zero. The <laughs> yes. <laughs> My old band. <laughs> but oh, uh, okay. we met them um, while they were doing a gig in Portland, and we asked them to to marry us on a beach in Oregon. It that was, was really beautiful. That was really beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Wait. So you you married them? No, no, no. I just sang while they got married. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Very nice. Um, would you would, would you so like? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, wanna, I would love a new CD. Yes. I'd love if I could get one of those CDs. That would make my Yay. day. Yeah. Yeah. They'll have to give us your address or something, and, and I'll put it in the mail. Yeah. Will you um, will you give Poena your address and um, uh, some more? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Actually, uh, why don't you just go ahead and hold on after you hang up, and um, our uh, engineer and co-owner will get your address, and Fun. we'll send it to you. Fantastic. Thank and you. And I'm so curious, um, Paulina, uh, what's what's your future looking like? What's my future looking like? Yeah, what, what's the A big thing you got going on? A whole lot more music. A whole lot more music. About you may be getting on... Big show or something. I don't know. Yeah, she's I on a big show. Let me tell right you. Right now, <laughs> this is the big show. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big show. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, well, this year I've got a lot of fun things coming out. Uh, as I'm going to send you this new uh, electronic album, but I'm also been working on a new full length for that, and then I've also been working on a new solo album that's going to be coming out this year. There's a couple of hip hop albums that I'm uh, featured on that are gonna be coming out. So just wow. lots of new music this year, and not a lot of touring, which I know like people are used to me touring and, and being a road warrior. But for the first time in like four years, I'm kind of like staying put for a little while just so I can get that new music out. It's been itching to right release it. So that's the most exciting thing I'm looking forward to. Just new new releases. <laughs> well, you are amazing. I love your voice, and I love your stage presence, and I'm so glad <laughs> um, that you've been hosted on La La Land. Thank you. Thank we you so much you. for calling in. It was really good to hear from you. We're happy to have her. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for calling. Good. Thank you. You guys have a great day. You too. All right, you too. Hang on, and we'll get your okay. address. Sweet. Oh, Thank you, have, you. You have it? Okay. We have your address. No problem. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank hey. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. How exciting! Uh, you got <laughs> fans all over the country in Portland. And <laughs> awesome. Um, let's do another song. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. You want to uh, do uh, what is this? Natural disaster. Yes. Natural next? disaster. This is another uh, song from my album Happy Whore. Hold on. We gotta get. It. Barum dum dum dum, barra barum 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 dum dum dum, redet derum barum barum dum dum dum, barra barum 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 dum dum dum, redet derum barum. I am my trouble disaster, and you say I'm unpredictable. I am my trouble disaster, baby, but I won't sink but swim. Yeah, yeah. I am an natural disaster. You say I'm unpredictable. I am an natural disaster, baby, but I won't sink but swim. I don't wanna leave my home. Or talk to anyone. I don't wanna wait and see. I want the world and I'll world for free. Oh, yeah. I am an natural disaster. And come is the moment I love the man see. Totally catastrophic, live it out, mentality. Yeah, I will be pinned in a park The government land's about to fall. I'm getting fixed with the stage. I'll be getting my taxes direct to hell. I am a natural disaster, and you say I'm unpredictable. I am a natural disaster, baby, but. Sink, 
Con, Paulina, <laughs> good work. Thank you. Are you are you listening, music producers? Are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> Managers, bookers, etc. Managers, all that stuff. <laughs> Drummers. <laughs> yeah, whatever it takes. So, um, uh, Paulina, yeah, what's your favorite thing about being on stage? What do you like most about? Oh, you know, like music for a long time for me was just a way to survive, because. I had a complicated childhood and it was just this way for me to process everything that I was seeing and feeling and as I've gotten older and it's like I don't have to have music to survive I, I can't live without it but uh, I mean it's more it's still like just this massive release and so when I get to open my mouth and sing it's like anything that I'm feeling any anxiety worry doubt or fear in the whole world just you know I'm able to just just suss it out and just scream it out shout it out yell it out and i'm just left feeling l relaxed it's i i go i guess it's for me like my my form of meditation <laughs> right it's it's a, it's a rowdy like, meditation but yeah yeah being on stage is is it can be like therapy in a way yeah you know for sure it's great um and then what's yeah I, uh, the uh, lady that called in, Natalie, kind of asked you this, but I'm going to put it in a, in a different way. Um, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Mm. What does the future hold for What Polina? year is it? <laughs> 2015. <laughs> now. So 2025. Whoa, mm -hmm. man. Maybe we'll have flying cars by then. I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Jetpacks. Maybe we'll have, like, magically, uh, like have no traffic i don't know yeah. um <laughs> i well, suppose I, I, uh i have a question if yeah, you don't go mind. Ahead. like um growing up who was your influences you know um, oh man it was unending it was so unending i mean i think when i was really little you know when i was when i was like eight years old i really loved rap music and r&b and i listened to a lot of a lot of different music whether it was you know Whitney Houston or I mean just Bone Thugs and Harmony or like <laughs> Immature I mean like I, I mean so many like That's I didn't quite care Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre whatever like TLC like I loved all that kind of music and uh, I used to go to the like the Fred Meyer which I guess here is like Target or whatever uh, I go to the Target you know like the store and you could buy tapes but they were all like uh, you know parental advisory so I wasn't allowed to buy them so I'd stand outside the store and like get adults to like hey could you go buy me that new TLC tape you know <laughs> like no way <laughs> so, yeah so I had this whole secret stash of like you know that, I don't oh, know cool. Bib DeVoe awesome. and all this random you know whatever like music and then uh, eventually uh, uh, my stepmom found it <laughs> And she was just like, this music's terrible. It all talks about sex and cussing and, you know, bitches and hoes. And I was like, woo. <laughs> and I remember, like, hiding under one of my friend's beds, like, with the headphones. And, like, we were not supposed to be listening to all this music. We are like, yeah. I want to sex you up. Tick tock until you don't stop. <laughs> like so you weren't at the liquor store having them buy you beer or cigarettes. You were no. having them buy you explicit <laughs> tapes. Explicit tapes, but yeah. But once so those funny. were all burned, I was like, ah, eh, well, I'll just move on. So I started listening to all kinds of, like, singer-songwriters and um, a lot of street musicians. And I started Step listening. Did you burn them? She burned them. I came home from school, oh. and they were all in the fire. Well, you know something? Oh, that's just so like cool. I, I, no. that's just like the, uh, her generation, she our was generation. Doing, she, she was doing the best she could uh, you know, yeah, yeah, try yeah. and influence me, and I suppose we have another caller. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, caller. <laughs> Hello, caller. Is this Dorothy Dillingham Blue? <laughs> okay. I can't hear. We can't hear you. I'm sorry. So, um, call back, please, caller, and say something when you call. 
Mm. Um, like I was just about to say, just that's just like you know doing. The early years, how each generation had their own music, and the parents was like, "Are you out your mind? Ew, that was so you know out outside the box, uh-huh. you know." Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, every generation. Every has generation that has that. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is it? What is it now that the the kids are? Oh, I think <laughs> not it's allowed like, to do. I think it's like all that, like uh, you know, dub <laughs> dubstep and glitch, you know, trip pop electronic stuff i know there's a lot of adults that are just like i don't understand that music where are all the acoustic instruments and i'm like <laughs> that's drug music <laughs> that's drug music yeah they could go down the wrong path <laughs> <laughs> yeah every generation has their thing you're right yeah um so back to back to my question and i know it's a weird one to answer but where do you see yourself in in 10 years where would you like to be uh f- yeah. you know on stage writing recording releasing music and just same old, same old. Doing I'm, your thing. I'm pretty happy doing this, so I'd like to keep doing it. I mean, I think you know, hopefully in ten years I w- will have a car and not, you know, be able to maybe pay my bills or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But whatever. If I don't, I'm still gonna be on stage <laughs> somewhere. You'll be playing your music. That's what's important. Yeah. Hello, caller. Say that again. Oh, uh, uh, he hung up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the interview. Back to the interview. <laughs> um, okay, so you just want to be playing music. Do you think you'd like to be touring at, at that point? Um, um, like a big national tour? International I'm sure tour? that I will be touring. I mean, I can't say in 10 years. Maybe in 8 or 9 or maybe the 10th year I'll be recording that year. I don't know. The great thing about mm-hmm. music is like it comes in phases. You have your downtime that you write and record and release, and then you have times that you're just on the road all the time. I don't mind being on the road all the time. I, I definitely don't like want to hitchhike anymore or do any of that because for about the you know the last two years I didn't have a car and I I was like just trying to like play and get out there and meet people and so I was like riding Amtrak and Greyhound and rideshare and. Mm-hmm. hitchhiking and taking planes and just whatever and so even though it was adventurous it was just really really hard on my body and really tiring and exhausting so i hopefully i'll you know i've been there have to I do feel, any I of that your, feel your pain especially in la it's almost <laughs> impossible let's try this one more time hello caller hello hi hello. dorothy hi i'm calling from florida oh I yay this was what's up florida <laughs> <laughs> what's your name my name's Tawa. Hi, Tawa. Did you um? Hi. Did you have a question for Poina? Yeah. Uh. Well, not really a question. Um. I know the play, the bass player. So I just wanted to say you guys are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I haven't met Poina yet, but Mike is. Oh, it is. Uh, oh, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> Hi. You're coming to town soon, hey? Huh? You're gonna come to town soon, hey? Yes, I am. I awesome. can like barely like I'm trying to watch while talk on the phone, but it's delayed, so I'm getting really confused. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just pay attention to the phone. <laughs> um, uh, Michael had something nice to say to you uh, before the show started. Uh, in the yeah, I heard it. Oh, you I heard it. Creepy. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Just trying to score you some points, everyone. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, it's very fun cool. To say you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you like it. Want a CD? Yes. Well, I mean, I, you could just leave it there. I'll just pick it up when I'm there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, process. Perfect. Thanks so much for calling. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> and we have another caller. How fun. <laughs> Hello, Hello, caller. Hi, who, what's your How's name? How's going? Going good. How are you? Good. I love your music. Thank you. And who is this is calling? Yeah, you're awesome. Thank you. And your name, sir? Who, who's this? You calling? Who's calling? My name is uh, Claude. Where are you from, Claude? Where are you from, Claude? Uh, I'm from Florida. <laughs> I've awesome! Been to LA a few times right. and I love it. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in and checking us out. This is so fun. We can yeah, call from all over the uh, place. <laughs> definitely got a good thing going. Thank you. I'd like to hear some more. <laughs> well, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Awesome. Um, you want to do the radioactive? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks for calling, Claude. 
awesome. You guys are the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm gonna listen. All right. I wipe my brow and I sweat my rest Bringing in the chemicals Breaking in, shaping up Then checking out on the prison bus This is it, the apocalypse Whoa, I'm waking up I feel it in my bones to make my systems go Welcome to the new age To the new age Welcome to the new age To the new age Oh, 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 I, oh, oh, oh I'm radioactive Radioactive Oh, 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 I, oh, 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 oh I'm radioactive Radioactive Raise my flag on my clothes It's a revolution I suppose We'll paint it red To fit right in Whoa I'm breaking in Shaping up Then checking out On the prison bus This is it The apocalypse Whoa I'm waking up I feel it to make my systems grow Welcome to the new age To the new age Welcome to the new age To the new age Oh, 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 I, oh, oh, oh I'm radioactive, radioactive Oh, 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 I, oh, oh, oh I'm radioactive, radioactive Our systems go Waking up, I feel it in my bones. Not to make my systems go. Welcome to the new age, to the new age. Welcome to the new age, to the new age. Oh, 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 I'm radioactive, radioactive. Oh, 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 Nice. <laughs> Those songs like end like that. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, that was Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. Um, done much better by Poena. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, we have a question uh, on Twitter. Oh, cool. Yes. It uh, is from Backer Camp. Um, and they said, who are your influences? I think you might have already answered this question, well, but they didn't. Yeah, it constantly is changing. Um, lately, I've been listening to a lot of, uh, like, I've been listening to a lot of, like, uh, Ellie Goulding, and um, I've been listening to... Uh, Gosh, I always forget her name. It's so crazy. Um, I don't know. Lots of people. I like all music, so I've been listening to a lot of electronic stuff and a lot of... Um, gosh, I'm forgetting. That's terrible, right? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, but all I, love, I love all good music. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> uh, we have a caller. You got all kinds of calls Hello. today. Hello. Hi, what's your name? My name is Miranda. I'm calling from Topanga, California. <laughs> Hi, Miranda. Hi, Paulina. You sound awesome today, and you look <laughs> amazing on screen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. How's it going today? It's going great. This is so fun. I'm just loving this opportunity that they invited us to come play, and 
So, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I'm just excited more people get to hear your voice and hear your music. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, honestly, the the, the fact that, that, you know, you're not all over the TV really surprises me. It's, it's I mean, oh. you have an incredible voice. Well, thank so. you. Yeah. Well, I am today all you over are. the internet TV. That's right. <laughs> Best show on earth. Yeah, Miranda saw me, so. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> all the way to Topanga Canyon. That's like the total opposite spot of Florida. So we just covered like yeah. the whole continent. I with know. That one phone call. <laughs> Good stuff. And how do you two know each other? Do you two play music together, or? Um, we actually met at the Topanga Film Festival when she was one of the musicians. That was she was one of our wandering musicians. Wandering minstrel. <laughs> Love it. Or yeah. a giant purple uh, ball gown. Giant purple like fairy gown. And like this feather headdress, and <laughs> it was fun. I showed up, and everyone was like, "What's happening?" <laughs> I was like, "Hello." <laughs> That's perfect for a film it's festival. Fun. Big yeah. Kind of address. yeah, yeah, and Topanga Canyon is beautiful, and there's like little gardens and walkways, and the outdoor theater. It's great. That was really there. beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That was a cool show. Well, thanks for calling in and saying hello. Well, thank you. Have a have a great day, Karina. Okay, thank you, Miranda. <laughs> we got another caller. Uh, hello, caller. Uh, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Where are you calling from? Sacramento. What's up, Carlos? <laughs> hey, what's up, Paulina? I don't know if you remember me or not. I've but, uh, seen you on Facebook. I, I met you on the train, right? Yeah, heck yeah, man. I'm, I'm, uh, it's <laughs> awesome to be able to see you. <laughs> I met you, this guy on the train when I was going up to, to Portland to do a hip-hop album release for this album called All Your yeah, Friends Yeah, I was on the way Friends. to visit my dad. Uh, nice. He was going through cancer. Sorry to hear that. How's he doing? Oh, he, he beat it. He beat it. Good. Yeah, he's a survivor. Good. We hate cancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cancer sucks. You have a beautiful voice, and, you know, I just wanted to, uh, you know, call in and say, hey, how's you going, and, and uh, promote you and stuff, you know. We, it, you're you're, you're going to make it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Carlos posted some videos of me singing on the train uh, on his Facebook page a while ago. It was pretty cool. I, think I was I singing saw in the train car, and he was just like, doop. Were those on <laughs> it was YouTube? Fun. I don't know. No, Did they make like it to you? She was uh, she was doing like her own little mini concert on on the train, and uh, <laughs> I politely asked her if I can record her, and uh, she said yeah. And um, we uh, found each other on Facebook. She said, "Well, we'll post them." On, I asked if I could post them on Facebook. She said, "Sure." And uh, so I posted them, and I friended her, and uh, we connected like that. That's awesome. Love it. <laughs> Some of the best connections come that way yeah. sometimes, just random uh, meetings. But you but you did actually make that whole trip for me, but you know, I did I did want to tell you that. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm, I gl appreciate I'm glad you your dad's okay. I'm glad he's doing good. Thanks so much Thanks for, for calling, Carlos. And calling. Really cool to hear from huh? you. And we got you your num and we got your number so someone's going to call you back and get your address uh, and send you a CD too, Carlos. Yes, absolutely. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate that. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Poina. You got all kinds of fans. Oh, I didn't even know. Everyone's yeah. making me feel so special. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, she's an awesome one. person, too. And I, it was great to see her in person and actually be able to see her perform live. It was like my own little mini concert. You know, it was, <laughs> I, was, I was growing. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, it's Thank an honor Thank you so much. Too. Thanks for calling and cheering everything. That's awesome. No problem. <laughs> Thanks, Carlos. All right, you want to do another song? Yeah. What is this one? Invincible. Now that I'm beaming from all this awesome love, well, thanks you everyone. Be. You're <laughs> talented and you work hard, and you know, taking the trains and and things to to go on, uh, do different events. I think that's a commitment that not a lot of people would be willing to make. So <laughs> that speaks a lot to your love of your art and your love and your passion for your music. I think that's great. Thank you. Yeah. Let's hear some music. All right. Um, we're going to sing a brand new song that I just wrote. So um, this will be like the first performance of it. I may have sang it once at an open mic, but awesome. uh, this is, uh, I think it's called Invincible. <laughs> I love you more 
than anything You my rock when I had nothing All I ever wanted was someone To hold me through the end of the world Don't make excuses Don't make excuses Like there's some big reason You can't love me anymore Said I was your angel, and you would marry me. You said I was the best thing you could ever hope for, but you just had to leave. Makes me wanna every lie. If I own your love was just words Am I unlovable? Must I fight for all alone? Was I so horrible? I do the best with what I know And I'm not invincible You feed me lines from a fairy tale So good at lying, you believed it real I put my faith in what you said Believing that our love would last But I'm unlovable Must I fight the world alone? Was I so horrible? I do the best with what I know And I'm not invincible oh, I'm not invincible And I'm not invincible Beautiful. <laughs> That's my you. favorite one so far. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can find f information about Poena at poenasudarth.com. P-O-E-I-N-A-S-U-D-D-A-R-T-H. You can Google Poena. You can find her on Twitter at Poena. You can find her on Instagram at Poena. You can find her on Facebook. <laughs> SoundCloud, um, dot, yeah, dot, SoundCloud. Dot, dot, She's dot. all over the place. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Best of luck to you and, and Thank you. your career. I can't wait to see your show at Universal Bar and Grill on Yay! February 22nd. It's I gonna will be, be there. It's going to be so fun, and I'm excited because I, um, I, some of my friends' bands are also playing, so it's going to be a good hangout. It's yeah. a nice little, you know, no-ho dive. It's fantastic. Can't wait. Can't <laughs> wait. Um, we have one more caller before we go. Awesome. Yes. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Susie Q. I'm from Seattle. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, um, I wanted to know if you're going to be up here um, anytime in the next, you know, six months uh, playing a show that would be all ages. Um. Right now, I'm really in a recording phase. I'm trying to get a lot of new music out, so um, I'm not sure yet when I'm going to be back on the road again. But the best way to stay in touch with me is uh, to sign up on my mailing list on my website, and uh, I send out a, a monthly calendar of shows and where I'm going to be at. And also, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and I always make sure to like keep people posted about like where I'm going to be. But definitely, I love coming to Seattle. It's one of my hometowns. I love it there, and I and I usually try to play all ages because I have 
friends and friends have kids and etc so <laughs> um cool. yeah i'll definitely uh be up there eventually but i gotta get the new music out first totally all right thank you yeah thank you thanks so much for calling in all right bye all kinds of friends all so cool all kinds of friends all <laughs> over the place um yes best of luck to you and and uh see her on february 22nd at universal bar and grill you can see her on february 14th at rock and roll pizza in North moore park uh for a benefit show and uh you can check out her electronic music on march 5th at the airliner yeah yeah thanks so much for having us you're welcome it's been very fun <laughs> paulina i should um mention uh thank you to our amazing sponsor hollywood on YouTube, uh, it's a brand new YouTube channel. Check them out, Hollywood, H O L L A W O O D. Um, Paul and Sharon is uh, the host. They've already recorded a couple of episodes, and uh, they're going to be recording more. So check them out. Um, and I should also mention, I we were talking about theater in LA. I didn't even mention my own show that I'm in. Um, it's called One Slight Hitch. It's at the Raven Playhouse. We run from uh, March sixth through March 28th, um, Friday and Saturday nights at 8, so check us out there. Cool. Um, if you want to find information on us, you can go to facebook.com slash talk, Twitter at twitter.com slash talk. You can send us an email at lalalandtalk at gmail.com. And next week on the show, uh, we're going to be having a little more uh, music on La La Land. We're going to have the Dale Hansen Band in here performing and, and talking to us. Um, very, very talented uh, musicians. <coughs> you want to take us out with the last song on the way out? Sounds good. We'll take you out. Cool. This is called Broken Man. Poena on La La Land on LA Talk Live. We'll see you at the top. <laughs> Fell in love with a broken man And mama said Choose your battles best you can I want to choose this I've got to choose this I will not choose you I don't have a fellow angel an angel who keeps me warm every night Don't want to lose this No, I can't stand to lose this I can't love you I knew right from the beginning that you needed saving just at the time when the bones in my body were aching We are victims of good loving Ain't no criminal to blame It ain't right, it ain't wrong Damn baby, what took so long? Perfectly famous before then missing and in love oh, yeah. I was searching for the answer The answer to all my woes No doubt about it I'm not fine Ooh. Breaking the rules to find you Is a risk worth taking There ain't no laws about love Seeing that we can't make it What
perfectly famously falling missing and in love in love in love Famously flubbed in the sin and in love. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no